Luke Timmons was born in the late 1950s in Belgium. And so he is now precisely what we would call a mid-career artist. He has 30 years of painting under his belt. And one of the things that's interesting about Luke as a painter, and I think people will see this throughout the course of the exhibition, is that his painting style changes. He, he moves through a variety of different styles, and some might argue, myself included, that he's actually gotten better over time. Luke Toymans, uh, although uh, perhaps not entirely well known in the United States, is um, the uh, preeminent painter working today in his generation in Europe. Um, and uh, for those uh, Americans who know him less, perhaps one could say that after Gerhard Richter, he is the most important living painter in Europe. So Toymans in Europe is seen to be the artist who has navigated these very tricky waters perhaps the most successfully of any artist of his generation. Which is a way of saying that in Europe, Toymans is a bit of a rock star of an artist. I mean, he's incredibly well known. Every major museum has a Toymans painting. He's had numerous exhibitions in Europe. And I think it's because he, his work speaks to uh, a kind of European sensibility in which you embrace the new, but you do not throw out the past as you embrace the new. Luke Toymans both um, honors and evolves the great tradition of painting. He is a contemporary history painter. There have been history paintings made throughout time, and in fact many of them live in Belgium, in Brussels and Antwerp, and um, he has studied those. He is a great still life painter, and that's a long-standing tradition. He's a great portraitist. Uh, the, the portrait of uh, Lumumba, the portrait of, of uh, the King of Belgium, these are compelling portraits, and those are, so he's, so he's taken uh, traditional genres and revived them in a way that makes them absolutely present and makes them absolutely necessary to our moment. We're hoping that viewers will be able to explore the difference between what it's like to just look at one Luke Toymans painting as, a, as an image, as an exercise, and then what it's like to experience this other way that he works, which is to think about how a group of pictures might be more than the sum of their parts. Luke Toymans's work uh, is one of those rare instances where you see both intellectual and aesthetic individuality and uniqueness and power meeting on canvas.